Today, I'm reviewing the Ghost Golf Any Day Maverick 14-Way Golf Bag. I've been using this golf bag for almost six months now. I've played close to 20 rounds of golf, both walking and riding in carts using this bag. And today, I'm going to review most of the main features, the styles, the things I like, the things I don't like, to help you decide if you want to get a bag like this or not. First things first, let's start with the price. This bag is not a cheap bag. This is $380 on Ghost Golf's website, which puts this in the premium category for golf bags. With that premium price tag, I do think there are a lot of features that make it worth it, depending on who you are. One of the first things to note about this bag, and it should be pretty obvious, is the styling of the bag. So we have this kind of uh, gray matte finish. Uh, it is kind of faux leather, really soft to the touch. It also feels super durable, and after kind of 20 rounds of golf, I don't see any signs of wear and tear, so love that. Uh, but it does have a lot of kind of aggressive styling and accents here. So the Ghost Golf logo, you can find it pretty much across the bag, whether that's from the zippers um, to the zipper handles embroidered on the side, there's gonna be lots of this branded styling. So if you're someone that likes minimal styling, this is likely not gonna be your favorite bag, um, but I personally don't mind all the Ghost Golf logos, and I think the accents look pretty good. We can get a little bit closer look at some of the styling. So we have the Play Fearlessly red tag, uh, you know, the Ghost Golf zipper grabs. Then there's gonna be plenty of brand insignias kind of located along the bag. So I personally like the style, but could understand how people would not. Another point to notice about the styling is these carbon fiber legs, which are functional in that they're lightweight, but I also think that they look really nice. You can even see the ghost golf embroidered on the belly of the bag. Finally, we do have some basic styling that is on the double straps, and they also include a single strap if you would rather have the single strap system with the louder Ghost Golf styling. So that's it for styling. I really love it. I've gotten some good compliments. It goes with my style, but it's definitely something to keep in mind if you're someone that likes a more simple style and design. Now, let's talk about some of the features of this bag. The first thing I'll note is the weight of this bag. So on the site, it says that this should be a lightweight bag, but the weight of this bag is six and a half pounds. So not the most heavy bag. It's not necessarily the lightest bag either. I find that at six and a half pounds that this bag is comfortable to walk even 18 holes with. I've done that before. It can start to get a little bit heavy towards the end and depending on how much you have in it, Definitely can start to feel a little bit heavy with the straps, with the design. I find that I can walk really comfortably with this bag for quite a long time. Now, I do have this in the 14-way style. There is the seven-way divider, but I appreciate the organization of a 14-way. Uh, and they do have nice big pockets for a putter. I do have a fat grip on my putter. And another thing to note about these dividers is they are velvet lined, uh, so they protect the clubs well, um, but they also slide really well. So you can slide clubs in and out. They don't grab the clubs. There are plenty of nice handles. So we have this handle here. You can pick up the bag uh, and this handle as well. So these are good quality, uh, feel really durable, easy to grab. They work, great functionality. Now let's get into the pockets and storage of this bag. Uh, so starting over on this side, we have kind of the saddle type pockets, really large pockets here on the side of the bag. You can fit uh, boxes of balls, um, you know, clothes, etc. So big pocket here and on the outside of both of these saddles, which can be found on either side of the bag are these cooler line pockets. So you can uh, put drinks, water bottles, beers, etc. cetera here, um, and it keeps things cool. So I do like that feature. We do have a Sharpie holder, and on the top of each of these saddles is a velvet line pocket. So for phones, sunglasses, etc., I do like the fact that there is a velvet line pocket on either side, so you can organize your stuff kind of flexibly however you want it. So here's a look again at this side, 
big pockets. I keep the rain cover in here. Okay, moving on, we do have a magnetic and velvet lined range finder. Uh, I keep my balls in here, uh, but you should be able to keep a range finder in here for easy access and it snaps shut uh, so that you know that it is easy access, but is also protected. And then finally, we do have a main kind of storage pocket here, pretty big. I keep snacks and whatnot there. And flanking either side of that are magnetic little pop-out water bottle holders, uh, which I find really nice. I like that they're magnetic. They also cinch, so you can adjust the size and they snap down. So one of those on either side. So I find the storage to be just the right amount of storage for me. Um, there's plenty of space for me to keep all of my essentials, uh, but it's not so big and cumbersome that I always feel like it's loaded up and there's unused space. Uh, there's enough pockets to where each time I go out uh, to play golf, I can grab whatever gear I need, load it into the pockets and have everything that I want, whether I'm walking or riding in the cart. Um, but then it also is relatively minimalistic and so I'm not overbearing with how much stuff I'm loaded into my bag and it stays relatively lightweight and ready to walk around with. Now let's talk about some quirks and features of this bag and there are a handful that I really do appreciate. Okay quirk number one is going to be this little carabiner you can hang things off of that also has a spot for velcro up top so you can uh, stick your golf gloves onto here uh, whether you're walking or playing you know, throw a Velcro there, um, but you can also hang things off of this. So I do find that having a built-in loop to hang stuff off of is useful. I typically hang my towel, uh, ghost golf towel off of this as well, um, but lots of things can be hung off there. So we also do have this cinch thing. This could be used by for a variety of purposes, whether you're holding an umbrella, cinching things down, um, and then there's these snaps. So you can snap, of course, the rain cover on, um, but you can snap some other things to these uh, universal snaps as well. Then, of course, we have the carbon fiber legs. Um, and so they come out really easy. Uh, the bag pivots. I've never had any issues picking up or putting these down. Um, it works. It functions really well. If you're going to be riding with the carts, too, there is also a band that can hold the legs down. Uh, so you can put this flat against the golf cart. A nice little feature, not necessarily needed, but this bag does come with a ball marker that can snap on and off here. Uh, so I appreciate that, you know, a nice little touch. I've been using that ball marker and then can just snap it on uh, whenever I don't need to keep track of it. On either side, we do have these cooler line side pockets. So I really appreciate that. Can hold, you know, typically just two beers per side. Um, and then these water bottle holders also do have a, uh, a cooler lined uh, siding. So they do keep your, your drinks a little bit more cold than normal. Finally, we do have the adjustable strap system. So I prefer the two straps, um, but these can be quickly exchanged for a one strap system and it does come with one strap if you prefer that. So here you can see my bag loaded from the side. I do also have the ghost towel, which is, sorry, a little dirty right now, um, but I have the same color towel as the bag. I like the aesthetic. I think that the yellow accents and the red accents on here are fantastic, um, and they match lots of my head covers. Uh, go Razorbacks. And then of course, uh, look at the 14-way organization. All the clubs hang nice, and we even have um, some logos here on the bottom of the bag. So this is what my bag looks like fully loaded. I really like the way everything looks. Um, I think it's a great looking bag. It matches my style perfectly. Um, and I do get compliments on the course with this bag. But that is going to do it for the Any Day Maverick Ghost Golf Bag Review. Um, this is a premium bag at a premium price. Like I said, $380. Uh, but I do think that this for me, has all the features that I could want to need. It has the right amount of space, and I absolutely love the design. This is a bag that every time I get to grab it, leave the house, go out to a course with, I'm happy to see it. It functions well, it meets all of my needs, and then it looks great. So I have received a lot of compliments with this bag.
So if you are in the market for a versatile, good looking and lightweight bag that can be used both for carrying, but also on carts, I think you're not gonna go wrong with any of the bags provided by Ghost Golf. Granted, you are willing to pay a little bit of that premium price for it. If you have any questions about this bag or any of the features about it, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be pretty quick to answer most of those. If you enjoyed this review or video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing because that helps me a lot. But other than that, thank you for watching and thank you for keeping it real with Ryan.